Hi, and thank you for joining me for day 13 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, round 13. And today the sketch is provided by Erin Dallas and it's a double page spread. So I'm focusing on the left hand side, which I'll pop at the top of the screen there. And I'm printed an A4 photo of my husband demolishing the decking at the back of our house. This was last summer when we decided that we were having a garden room built. So we had to rip everything apart, the playhouse, the shed and the decking in preparation for the new garden and the new garden room. So I'm using my print shop collection again. This is nearly done, but still working my way through it. I think I've got about five sheets left from the um, paper pad now. And I've just matted the photo, first of all, onto that grey blue, which works really nicely with the clothes that Ross has got on. And then again, onto this green piece, which works nicely with the greens in the garden. So I'm just lightly roughing up the edges of this photo and then um, I can work on my title once that's done. And I'm going to pull in my Ellie Studio stamps for the title, um, just working on some strips that I want to add to the side of the, I'm not sure whether they're going across the bottom actually or to the side of the page yet, I've yet to decide. So as I say, I'm going to pull out my Jane, large Jane alphabet stamps from Ellie Studio and I'll be stamping these onto the layout using my bundled sage ink and the title is going to spell Demo demolition. Um, I discussed it with Ross and we decided that was probably the best. <laughs> so the sketch shows the title going down the left hand side. I've rotated it to add it down the right hand side. The way that Ross is standing in the photo it made more sense to have the photo on the left and the title on the right. So I'm just spelling out demolition as far as I can go before I have to duplicate a letter, then using my T-square ruler to make sure that it's flush and um, straight on the layout, and then bringing in my um, stamping block. Gosh, I couldn't think of the word then. <laughs> bringing the stamping block to get all those stamps situated. So then I can stamp, add the ink and then stamp it down onto the layout. Once that's done, you'll see I use one of the um, clear pieces from the stamp set to put all the dirty stamps on. And I can go and wash those up when I've finished creating the layout. It just keeps them all together when I'm using a lot of letters because I'll use the outline stamp set as well in a minute. So it's quite a lot of letters that I could easily lose. So just adding the um, ION back onto the stamp block to add that to the end of the word. I really mess around with this. I, I Sometimes I struggle <laughs> with letters because I have to stick them on the stamp block the wrong way around. Oh dear, it's a real thing. That's why it's easier for me to lay it down onto the card as it would be and then use the block to pick them up. But um, they were dirty so I didn't really want to do that the second time. Anyway, it's done. <laughs> I managed to get those on and that's the title. So here are those two strips that I cut and I decided to put them down the right hand side of the photo just to fill in a bit of that space because I'd added the title quite far over to the right. So um, just trimming those down ever so slightly and then I can offset them against the photo and get them stuck down. And again, the colours work nicely. The scissors, obviously he's um, demolishing things so they kind of fitted to the theme and then the peach colour is the same colour as his skin. So that works quite nicely. So just getting those stuck down and then I can carry on with the title, adding, as I say, I'm going to add the outline stamps to um, the word demolition. And at first I thought I was going to do it in black. I do like a black outline. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you'll see I enjoy adding black to my pages just to make everything pop. But today I decided that I just wanted to use Mode Lawn, which is um, a contrasting green and it works really nicely with the greens in the photo. So I decided it's time to get that photo stuck down before I add those um, edge stamps. You can see the alphabet off to the right hand side there of the screen. So just getting that stuck and then I can go through each of the letters and stick and add those to the um, solid Jane alphabet. So these are the outline, the large outline Jane alphabet stamps from Ellie Studio. <laughs> so using Mode Lawn, as I mentioned, and I don't want to be too precise. I prefer when they're slightly offset. The E, I did go really quite offset, <laughs> but it's fine. It all adds to the um, final feel of the layout. I think because it's a demolition layout, I wanted everything to be slightly messy, but still with purpose, obviously. <laughs> Not just messy as in um, a two-year-old did it, but... <laughs> 
So um, where I've got the same letter twice, obviously I'm stamping those twice before moving on. And then I don't know what happens here. I think because I've done the I and the O towards the end of the word, when I do that T, I think I'm done <laughs> and I've missed the N off, but I do notice that later on. So I'm going to use some words, some um, journaling on some white strips of paper just so that I can overlap onto the photo. So I write a strip and then trim it down and then write a strip and trim it down. So I've got three strips in total and I've measured the card so that it wasn't longer than I wanted it to be on the layout to start with. And then I'm just going to add some foam tape to these strips and get them stuck down and they overlap the photo and I really like the look of that. It's sort of bringing everything together towards the bottom of the page. Here's where I noticed that N. <laughs> So just adding that, it's a good job I'd left everything out. So I've brought in the print shop ephemera pieces there in that little box because I just want to add a tiny bit of embellishing. It's a very quick and easy layout this, but I really love how it's come together. And I want to thank Erin for the sketch because I wouldn't have thought to have done another big photo. I've done this once before and thoroughly enjoyed it. And I must remember to do that a bit more often because it, it's, it pr provides real impact in your album. And when you've got a photo that you want to see all the detail of, it's a good thing to do. And because this was our old garden before we had all the construction done, it's really nice to have a record of it in the album for years to come. So I'm sticking those strips up towards the top of the title, just like I say, so that I can add some embellishing at the bottom. I'm just getting that last one down. And you'll have seen I brought my two square ruler in when I stuck the first strip down, just to make sure that it was all level. And now I'm just looking for something and I settle on this chipboard tag just to rest all the, as like um, a landing stage, if you like, for all the bits I'm going to bring in. So I wanted to add some flowers as layering, um, but I wasn't quite sure of which shapes and colours I wanted. So I do fiddle and faff a bit, but I do like that title that says snapshots because it is just snapshots of the construction that we had done. Um, but I wanted some green. So as soon as I saw this ticket, I thought, yep, that's perfect. That'll lay nicely behind the tag. So I lay that down and then still fiddling with the flowers these aren't the final ones <laughs> that one is so I bring that in and the purple one and I just think those colors work really nicely not too busy different shapes perfect and then I spot this butterfly and I think that'll work nicely on the decking at the bottom because it's a big blank area on that photo so it's nice to be able to add some embellishments to the actual photo as well so just gluing this down and then I'm going to flip it over and add some foam to um, that snapshots title where it hangs over the edge of the uh, tag just to raise it up to the same level as the tag. So here we go. And this, um, this layout actually finishes this roll of foam tape. I never thought I would. It was huge. <laughs> but it's surprising how much you use, especially when you're doing a layout today, I guess. So just trimming some bits down, adding it to the... Um, the P and the S as well. That was a lucky save when that piece pinged off that it didn't land on the photo because it would have ruined it. <laughs> I would have had to have printed it again. So just peeling off the backing and then I can get this stuck down. Obviously adding wet glue to the other half. And that's that down. And then the butterfly, I'm just going to raise its wings with as I say, the rest of this foam tape. And then I've also got a washi sticker at the bottom that says the culture of flowers, which works nicely with this layout. So please do check the description box down below for everybody else joining in on this fabulous hop. There is also a Facebook group, I keep forgetting to mention that, um, which is called 30 Days of Sketches. If you go there, there are albums with all of the 13 series, each with um, an album for the sketch that's been created on that day so there's thousands and thousands of um, layouts with inspiration for you there i'll also leave any details that i have for erin dallas below who was the sketch creator uh, i'm just going around the edges of the papers and distressing them with my fingernails i just felt it needed a little bit more distressing like i say with it being a demolition layout um, i wanted things to be a little bit messy and uneven so just uh, roughing those edges up 
And that's the layout pretty much done. Thank you so much for joining me. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I shall see you tomorrow for day 14. Thanks again. Bye.